Hey guys, and welcome back to another episode of Let's Play Sly 2 Band of Thieves. Last time we finished episode 7 and, requi and required a and we acquired the clockwork lungs and stomach. Now we will be heading into episode 7. Let's see what awaits us. Menace in the North, eh? That's an obvious Canada joke. That's... I don't know. <laughs> By the way, I, Canadi I'm pretty sure Canadians don't say A after every sentence. I have Canadian viewers. I, I know a person Canadian, so... <laughs> Menace in the North, A. Things just weren't right up in Canada. Random acts of violence were popping up like weeds, and the Northern Lights, well... They just weren't right. One night they'd be brighter than ever, and the next, gone. In Nunavut Bay, I overheard talk between Jean Besson and his mysterious partner, Arpeggio. Somehow, those two are behind it all. Tracking the source of the disturbance was easy. By simply following the lights, we were led north to an immense lumber camp. The sheer number of fallen trees advertised Jean Besson's presence and that he was in possession of the clockwork talons. The Thievius Raccoonus makes numerous references to the talons slicing through plates of steel. A skilled lumberjack like Bassan can clear a forest in hours while wielding the artifacts. Those talons have got to go, both to finally do away with clockwork and to save the environment from his twisted sense of progress. The world just doesn't need to make space for another strip mall. Sly Cooper and the gang. In. Menace in the North, A. So, who's ready for some more Jean Bisson? Haha! -ha. Well, I believe we're gonna have to start out as Sly. Yep, we have to. Okay, so here's what we know. One, Arpeggio's blip is on its way to pick up a battery from Jean Bisson. And two, the only way we'll get a crack at Arpeggio's clockwork brain is by finding a way to sneak aboard his blimp. But before we do that, we'll need to snag the clockwork talons off John Besson. Time is short and we've got a lot to accomplish. True, true, but first things first. This lumber camp isn't on any of my maps. I need you to poke around and take some recon photos. They'll help to get my sensors oriented. No problem. Recon photos, I got covered. In anticipation of the icy climate, I took the liberty of modifying your cane. It can now separate into two smaller canes. Useful for ice climbing. Try ascending to the top of that sheet of ice. Just jump and hit the circle button to dig in. Well, nice. That's a nice new ability. Here we are in the new chapter. Still bears. See over there. Um, as you can see, it's not as big and open as the previous chapter bottle um <laughs> but i actually i think it might be a bit harder to find bottles in this area since there's so much stuff in your way maybe not as hard as it was in prague because it was so dark and there was stuff in your way but i think we'll have a lot more challenge on our hands here and this chapter is just cool anyway <laughs> so the, the longer we get to stay here it'll still be cool so that's a cool little new trick I think it's only used in this chapter, though, which is sad. Okay, reconnaissance photos. Well, there's some important stuff around. I'm gonna get owned <laughs> by an, a, a bird. Please don't, please don't own me. I don't want to be owned by a bird. I'd rather be owned by myself because you know it's nice. To, I, <laughs> no bird is in control of me. I own myself. Now, what would that be? Oh, that's a bear! I will get a nice, high quality photo! <laughs> HD! Real mauling action! <laughs> oh gosh, can I get it in a stance of anger? I don't know, that sounds really horrible. Come, come here, bear. Oh, don't punch me. Come on, that was a perfect shot. That was perfect chance for the most amazing shot. No one would have been able to make it. I don't know. That would have been the best shot. 
I I don't know. That would have made headlines right there. Man shoots picture of bear super close. I mean, extra HD attack action. Yeah. I don't know. Oh, there's the bear. We'll just get him here while in a safer distance. That one's out in the middle of nowhere. That one looks easy to get. Okay. Bear. That's still a good one. Not the best, though. Interesting. He's putting out a slight radio signature. Those dang radioactive bears. Well, radioactive isn't the same as radio. Yeah, it is. Well, not. Well, it'd still be radioactive, though, because it's setting out radio signals. I don't know. But yes, active radio signals. I don't know. But yeah, strange robo bears. I knew it! Yeah, robo bears. That's strange. Why would John Bassan eat a robo bear? I want. Is it like a transformer? Do we have a, the world's craziest trans. Whoa! Jump man! Oh gosh. Uh. Old style Mario Jumpman here. Okay, ow. Okay, I don't enjoy being hit by wood. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> that sounded really bad. <laughs> anyway, if I would please stop getting. Sh please stop shooting me. I don't enjoy being shot. Uh, this is a dangerous, dangerous area. Very, very much so. Dangerous. Not good, good, not. Okay. Whoa! <laughs> I am do pulling out the stunts here. Let's get a good picture of that. Are you kidding me? I can take a picture of that from here. <laughs> okay, maybe I can get... Okay, we'll see if we can get a good one. Get back, get back, get back. Do I have to take a picture while on here? Well, all I know is it looks really good. particularly old. I guess this logging camp has been around for a while. Huh. Now get out of there quickly before I get run over by logs. Why is John the Psalm to clear land so much? Why is he going to get rid of all these trees? Sounds horrible. He's totally anti-nature. I love nature. Nature's a beautiful thing. You need to learn to respect it. John Passan's a giant freaking bison, too. I mean, you're not, by not preserving... You're by not preserving your own environment, you're not preserving yourself, John Bisson. Get it in your brain. Oh my goodness. Now, okay, we'll try that again. I seem to have died. That's not good. Let's go and, um, let's go ahead and get those last two. Dang it, I am not paying attention. Ugh. It's so hard to be sneaky. <laughs> Which, it shouldn't be hard, really. I mean, you just act sneaky. Go sneak around. Ooh, it, I am getting bottles, though. I don't know why. I thought it would be a whole lot more difficult to get bottles here. Which, it is difficult to get bottles. You have to still search for them. But I am picking up a whole lot. Water wheel. Nice. Nice water wheel. I expect there one. There might be one over here, too. Or are they not going to be that nice to me? Because I need to take a picture of it. Can I take a picture of it while on the boat? No, I just can't get that lucky, can I? <laughs> Sadly. Oh, come on. Let me... Oh, gosh. I better not be stranded on a boat. Oh, crap. <laughs> well, then. That that wouldn't be good. Okay, I can get off the boat. That's good. Oh, look. Logs. What is up with this? So many floaty little logs? And I'm sorry, whoever was in there. Ew, it lets out smog. That's gross. Ew, 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 that's nasty. I just broke up in a porta potty and it let out gas. Ugh. Don't want to do that again. That was a bad idea. Gross. Don't disrupt porta potties, guys. They're a little sensitive. That was gross. I'm sorry. I mean, for a little. It, it was humorous, but that was nasty. No, bear. Can't kill bears. Oh, gosh. I, I'm gonna get murdered in this next chapter. <laughs> I'm gonna get murdered by bears. Or slides, at least. Maybe I can make it to that one over there. Yeah, I'm gonna go this way and climb the mountain. I'd rather climb the mountain than have to rumble with, a, like, a bunch of guards and a bear. Or a robo-bear. It's a super robo-bear. 
This is like Porta Potty City. There's so many Porta Potties here. I mean, well, it makes sense because, you know, we are in like a lumber camp and someone needs to go, like, you need to go to the bathroom. Go to the bathroom. Plenty of Porta Potties mm -hmm. around to go do your doo doos. Do your stuff in. But it seems like there are a lot of Porta Potties here. An unnecessary amount of Porta Potties. I don't know when it gets unnecessary, but it seems like there is an unnecessary amount of pork potties. I'm not one to judge that, though. But there are a lot. I'm just stating a lot of porta potties are here. This is where you want to go if you want to use a porta potty. Now, ah, two more. I thought it was just one more. Oh yeah, I had to take a picture of the boat, didn't I? Ow! You jerk! Oh, I hate you. Okay, thank you for putting me back up here. Would you kindly just fly into one of those? How come the blade didn't kill you? That makes no sense. Get off the building. They're trying to hit me with pickaxes. This isn't Minecraft. Gosh. Learn what game you're in, things. Ducks. My goodness. Now. Oh, building. Okay. Shaped like John Masson's head. Nice. What am I trying to take a picture of? The building in general, or... Like, something really cool. I think it's the head. He's got a big freaking bison head on there. And he's a bison! He's not even... Oh, he's not even preserving his own kind. He's murdering his own species. Look at that. That's ridiculously huge. Ooh, bottle. Nice. Crap. Okay. I sound so gross. I'm sorry. I'm so stuffed up. Yes, there's a house. That's his house. The lair of the beast, the dead of evil, the epicenter of ecological destruction. Okay, I'm gonna be gross for one second. Let me cut it. Out. I'm gonna cut it out. But here, let me be gross. Okay, I'll cut that out. Cause that was nasty. I'm so sorry. Anyway, let's go get that last picture. Dang it, I hate these guys. Uh, I need to use my power-ups more often. That's what they're for. But stop shooting at me. Please. I just want to take a picture of a boat. I'm interested in boats. I'm a boatographer. Which would mean I take photo- Would it- I don't know. That's not really a proper term for one who takes pictures of boats, I don't think. I don't know. Anyway, let's take a picture of that dang boat. Boat. My sensors detect a Wi-Fi link to that boat. It must be piloted by computer. Okay, that should do it. Now for the real point of interest. Head for that lighthouse and try to find a way to sneak in. Oh, the lighthouse. That should be fun. Let's head on over there. Haha. <laughs> Ooh, will I make it? Yes, I will, because I am pro like that. Wow, it's, <laughs> it's really convenient that all these logs happen to float in this pattern that allows us to get over to the lighthouse. Very handy. Another porta potty. Ew. Gross. <laughs> now, aha, here we go. Let's just go on inside. What is this? You find a spinner, a front door, and a battery charger. What? Okay. So there's that looks like the battery charger. That's the battery okay. charger, but where is the battery arpeggio's coming to pick up? Huh. I don't know. Oh, the spinner's a pain to take a picture of. I hate taking pictures of this thing. It comes around, and you have to, like, be super precise, and then spot on when it comes over here. Ah, I didn't mean to cling- close out. I didn't mean to cling on. Oops. <laughs> Star Trek references. Please come by now. Please, please. No! Ah, I hate the spinner. <laughs> this is the most ludicrous item in the game that you have to take a picture of. No! <laughs> People have a reaction to time of one second, come on. I... Are you kidding me? 
Did I get it? Finally. Barely. <laughs> about time, too. Uh, about time I took a picture of that. I was right. The entrance is barred from the inside. By a chair. You could blow it up. I mean, blow the door up. But the, it's just a chair. Oh, Sly, listen in. He's mumbling to himself. Come on, Jean. You got it in you. Those lumberjack games need some more competition, eh? What would attract the participants? Bullseye! I'll post the clockwork talons as a trophy. That should bring in the competition. Although, who am I kidding, eh? I'm gonna win just like every other year. <laughs> oh, it's tough being this tough. It sure is, yeah. Head back to the safe house. We need to talk about these lumberjack games. Games? I like games. Well, guys, Jean Bisson has unknowingly thrown down the gauntlet. When the Clockwork Talons has a trophy, we'd be fools not to participate in his lumberjack games. Fortunately, due to frequent avalanches, a log chopping guide was frozen in a wall of ice not far from our position. Sly, you're in charge of acquiring the book. I'm sure it will prove invaluable. Now, we're all aware that Arpeggio's blimp is coming to pick up another battery. To sneak aboard without incident, I'd recommend we pull a Trojan horse and stow away inside the battery. However, the location of the device is still a mystery. We need some inside information. So, working together, you two will infiltrate the Moose Guard's secret RC combat club. Those guys all work in the lighthouse. If you win the battle, I'm sure they'll talk. Despite his antique mind, Jean Bisson's no fool. To keep tabs on him, we'll need to bug his house, steal the radio tags off local bears, and then jerry-rig them into a sensor array. It's a challenging set of tasks, and that blimp's on its way. Let's get to work. I agree. I see one flaw in your plan, though, Bentley. How are we going to be in a battery when a battery is normally filled with battery acid? It better be some kind of different battery, or else we're going to get seared to bits. We're gonna... I don't think... Well, let's just hope it's an empty battery or it uses some other kind of power. Anyway, we'll, uh, we'll get started with some of the missions in this area in the next episode of Let's Play Sly 2 Band of Thieves. See you guys later. Thank you for watching. And goodbye.